Welcome to another episode of Culture Shock. My name is Sean Galloway, the president of ProAct Safety. This episode is titled Personal Family Safety Focus. Do you have one? Consider that when we're driving down the road, we do something that's called focus and scan. Now, what are we focusing on? The lines in the road, the curbs, because arguably that helps us navigate. But we don't just fixate on the curbs or the lines in the road, we also scan. We're scanning for the potential animal that may be coming across the road. We're driving in a subdivision, a neighborhood. We see a bouncing ball, we're scanning for the child that may follow it. We don't just look at the lines in the road and we don't just move our eyes about. We focus and we scan. We focus and we scan. Now, think about that in safety. There's a lot of things we want people to scan for, but what are they really focusing on? They're scanning for all the rules, policies, and procedures. Well, let me ask you this. Can any of your employees from memory name all the rules, policies, and procedures? One of the questions we ask people is, can you obey all the rules, policies, and procedures, wear all your personal protective equipment, and still get injured? The answer always is yes. So what are the things that people are focusing on? According to statistics both in Canada and the United States, one of the top causes of accidental death in homes is slips, trips, and falls. What you're standing on, what you're walking on. Are you personally focused on those things and are you giving strategies to your family members to keep them safe? If one of your employees goes home and gets injured at work, at home, guess what, they're just as absent the following day as if they get injured at work. So are we giving personal items to people where they can coach their own family members? Last year at the time of this recording, one of my oldest daughters was going up and down the stairs at four years old unassisted. We moved from one area that we lived in the city to another area. The previous house had carpeted stairs, the new house has wooden stairs. So it scared me as she's going up and down the stairs. So what I started to do every single time was say, good job Isabella, you're holding on to the handrails. Guess what she started to say to me two weeks later? She started reminding me to hold on to the handrails. Now my youngest daughter, Brianna, is going up and down the stairs. Guess what my oldest daughter is saying to her? She's reminding her to hold on to the handrails. By no absolute, I, by no absolute intention, it just so happened I started to coach my family on the thing that can help them stay safe, one of the number one causes of accidental death at home, slips, trips, and falls. Are you giving your people and are they able to take some of these ideas that they have home to share with their family members? Because that's the end goal of safety, not just to keep them safe at your sites, but to keep them safe 24-7. If you have any comments that you'd like to share, there are several options. You can post a comment on Canadian Occupational Safety's website. You can email me at info at proactsafety.com or visit my Safety Culture podcast and blog at www.safetycultureexcellence.com and share your ideas there. Thank you for all that you do. See you next time.